Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Prof Chav, and today we're gonna be reacting to a great reason to not be religious anymore by Anthony Gizonic. Gizonic. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Just found out my little brother has a peanut allergy. A peanut allergy, which is very serious, I know. But still, I feel like my parents are totally overreacting. They caught me eating a tiny little bag of airline peanuts, and they kicked me out of his funeral. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> I feel like some of you guys might be too nice to laugh at some of these jokes. <laughs> and that's okay, not everybody has a great sense of humor. You guys would probably love my little nephew. He's like six years old. He's so cute. I talk to him every day on the phone. And he's unbelievable. He's got like the greatest imagination ever. He's either gonna be an incredible artist someday, or he really did get molested. Oof. <laughs> okay, buddy. I wasn't even laughing about that one. I was thinking about what's coming. <laughs> I feel like I need to say, like, I really believe this, that being a mother seems like one of the toughest jobs in the world. Right? Like, literally, right below comedian. <laughs> so to me, if a mother does her best, then in my book, she's a good mom. Right? Now, my mom did her very best, unfortunately. She was also a terrible person. <laughs> like my mom for most of her life, and this is true, my mom for most of her life was a Holocaust denier. Does everybody know what that means? Um, how, how? I assume it's a person that denies the Holocaust. Ha, ha. I mean, she couldn't believe the Holocaust happened. It's like the worst thing you can be. And it was terrible for the entire family to have to deal with. Until finally, a couple of years ago, we had an intervention. And we had a rabbi come into the home, had him walk her through the history of the Jewish people. And then he made her watch Schindler's List. Made her and watch after what? That, my mom did a complete 180. Now, she can't believe it only happened once. Okay, buddy, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a religious person. I would, uh, I would call myself an atheist. You know, I don't have a good story behind it. I'm just oh, shit. reasonable. <laughs> My girlfriend, my girlfriend has got like the greatest story behind why she's not religious anymore. So when she was a kid, like 12 years old, her parents nailed a 25 pound crucifix to the wall right above her bed. And about two weeks later, in the middle of the night, the crucifix falls off the wall and leaves a two inch gash in the back of her dad's head. Oh shit, that took me a second, that took me a second. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's fucked, that is fucked. Hey, she's fucked as well, but <laughs> oh, okay, that's... <laughs> like, whether you laughed or not, you gotta admit, that's a fucking great story. <laughs> Okay, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, let me know what y'all think about this dude. Should we do more of him? I've never seen this dude. Uh, most of the comic 
comedians that I watch usually do the the opposite of what he does. Like he did a lot of small jokes in quick succession. Most of the comedians I see or watch or have seen are like longer jokes, like five to ten minutes of storytelling with a big hit, which makes you laugh your ass off. But this is interesting to see as well. Like the little jokes, a lot of little jokes that make you laugh all the time you know what i mean let me know what you prefer and let me know if you want to see more of this in the future see you see you later everybody have a nice day it's your boy prof drop like comment subscribe bye bye